So uh, could you start by telling us about the harsh conditions <laughs> that you had to um, We never had work. that one. <laughs> no, <That's> no. Right. <laughs> I'm sure it's, watching it is so intense that we want to know how it was there. Well, if you think it was intense watching it, you have no idea <laughs> what it was like out there. She wants an idea. Yeah, all right, fine. It was horrible. It was horrible. It was a... Uh, Alejandro decided very early on that he wanted everybody to be pushed to their limits by what was happening, by the story, you know, what happens in the story, but also by the, the conditions that we were kind of in. And so he, he made sure that that happened. So we found places that not many people exist in or even go to. And then he would find a way of getting the camera there. And then we'd just go to work. It was very cold, uh, it was very harsh. And then oftentimes we had to get the shot in a very short amount of time because we were shooting in natural light. So the mm. pressure was very high as well. So they were very intense days, but when you mm. got the shot, it felt great. Yeah, I'm sure. And I'm sure it helped inform the character as well, which mm -hmm. for both of you are really interesting. A bit more on the human side of the spectrum. Mm. compared to the others as well. Yeah, I think so. Uh, some of them go a little bit more towards animal mm -hmm. and our guys are a little more human. And that's, yeah. true. that's true. And so another question that I'm sure you didn't hear at all, uh, how does it compare to playing with anyone else to play with, uh, to act with um, Leonardo? Yeah, it's an amazing opportunity, I think, for, for all of us. I think um, you can't help uh, but be a, a fan of Leo's work. He's, you know, he's he's done um, too much and done too much too well to not um, admire him. Um, for me personally, it was uh, very very exciting. But I think, um, you know, you have to kind of slightly put aside your admiration for him as an actor um, for the sake of. Uh, you know, uh, believing that he is who he is in the scene, and that's made easier by the fact that his performance is phenomenal. But yeah, he's a true professional. You know, he kind of spearheaded the uh, the the acting department and and and, and rose the bar for everybody. Um, and uh, yeah, I felt very very fortunate to get the chance to to work with him. Yeah, and uh, what about uh, Alejandro Iñárritu? Did you like his way of working? Was it no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's he's brilliant. And they screened Birdman for us just as we were start right before we started this. I think as a yeah. way of convincing us, don't worry, we know what we're doing, you know, this go doing very long takes and choreographed things can result in something that feels uh naturalistic but is very dramatic, you know, and and uh, very interesting. And so I mean, I it it didn't feel like I needed any convincing to trust in him. He's made so many good films. Mm -hmm. And he talked so well about what he wanted the film to be, but seeing Birdman was certainly a little bit of a, an extra boost to say another reason to think that this could be really special. You know, it also made me appreciate watching Birdman, you know, and having done a, a, an initial bit of rehearsal with the mm -hmm. camera and, and an introduction into like, you know, what it is to be in one of his films. It made me appreciate how difficult actually. Even Birdman must have been, yeah. you know, even though it was all indoors, and it's, it's, it's a totally different, different yeah. um, uh, uh, film in every respect. Made me realize just how difficult <laughs> it must have been for the actors involved in that movie, and, 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 and you know, um, makes their performances even more impressive. Yeah, for sure. So you both have uh, some experience with uh, awards. We saw you at the British uh, Independent Film mm -hmm. Awards the other day. Mm -hmm. How does it make you feel that everyone, are you interested at all that everyone is talking about Oscar nominations for this movie? And I don't find it that interesting. <laughs> um, uh, those things are really nice nights and you can get dressed up and uh, get drunk and that's great. Um, but it's always nice when a film is recognized. I think it, really all that matters is, is the film what we hoped it could be and this film is even more than I hoped it would be and I hoped it would be a lot and I hope the performances would be brilliant and they're even better than I thought they would be so that means much more to me than someone else's idea of of what it's worth and what you know but um, mm -hmm. I'm sure I, I may be in the minority on that uh, what, what you said I'm in that minority too if it's a minority <laughs> yeah. Yeah, did you both always knew that was the field where you wanted to go, acting, all that? No. I wanted to write and direct, but that would have been a horrible mistake. Oh, really? Yeah. I sound surprised. 
I wanted to. No, I just. <laughs> you're quite good at the acting. Thing. <laughs> really Don't know whether you <laughs> picked up on that. Um, I always wanted to act, but that was more of a product of not being good at anything else. So uh, I should have gone. I'm did quite you? Glad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, because I had nothing else going on. I don't know what I'd be doing if I wasn't acting. Brilliant. It's quite a scary sure. thought. Yeah, 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 yeah. good <laughs> lord. <laughs> so just to end, what was your um, best memory of it all, like of the set and all? What you'll remember most? My best memory? Because we've had hardest, we've, everyone's yeah. had the hardest memory. But there was a day when we were on the boat, fun? when we were going down the river. There was a day when we were on the boat and we were all there and we were waiting. It had to get a little bit darker before we got the shot. But we were out in this really beautiful river and it was absolutely gorgeous. And for some reason, we were quite warm that day. Uh, I don't know what had happened. There was some <laughs> freaky weather thing happened. Hmm. And everybody was kind of singing a little bit and um, dancing a little bit at one point. Mm, yeah, there was some singing and dancing. I can't remember and, uh, what the song was. It was just very, very funny. We sang some Magic Monkeys for a while. But it was just very, very <laughs> funny and really good fun. and calm before the storm I like that mm. I can't I'm searching through my, <laughs> digging through my memory you enjoyed not that I didn't have some fun <laughs> moments um, I will say that Paul Boise Anderson kept us uh, entertained mm. regularly and there were some times where I would cry with laughter yeah um, well who knows actually where the tears were coming from but, <laughs> but uh, I, I, I attributed them to, to, to the fact that uh, Paul was uh, very very funny so there were a lot of days where Paul kept us going and, and made us laugh. <laughs>